Ever to Raw, welcome back to Dark Souls. So last time we took out Sif, the Wolf, not the cleaning agent, and then we made our way to New Londo Ruins, and we proceeded to almost die to all of the ghosts. But more importantly than that, we got the key to the seal, which, as you might imagine, means we can open the seal, and that's going to allow us to drain the lower sections of New Londo, which means we can then run around down there and die to the guys down there instead. And damn it, really didn't mean to jump just then. Get out of here. It's really annoying to me that the run, jump, roll, and backstep are all on the same button. I mean, you get used to it, but, you know... Accidents, they still happen, like backstepping off the side and killing yourself while you're trying to trade with Snuggly. Can't think who the hell that could have happened to. Anyway, so I believe there should be pretty... I think there's like one more ghost between us and the seals, so we should be okay here. I think he's hiding in this wall up here and on the right. I see you. Die. I said die, you selfish son of a bitch. Thank you. And by the way, there is a, a curse bite ring you can get back in that building we were just in. You take a different route. It's easy enough to get to, just be aware when you go outside there will be a ghost that will pop up out of the ground. I'm not going to get it because I'm lazy, but yes, there will be a ghost there, just kill that guy, you will be fine. Now I believe this is a humanity and I think you can roll onto the roof below us. And if I remember correctly, and I think I am, I believe that's a rare ring of sacrifice. Again, I'm not going to get that because I'm lazy and because I'm never going to use the damn thing. Plus when you're on that roof, the way to get down, you have to roll inside one of the windows, then you land down where the banshee was, and you have to run back around here. And who's got time for that? Ain't nobody got down for that bullshit. And by the way, that lift there, you cannot activate that until you open the key to the seal. And then you can actually go down the lift. Don't drop down there beforehand, otherwise you will freaking die. And there we go, Lower New Londo has been drained, and yes, that's the Valley of the Drakes out there. That's where that giant door was where I almost died, because I forgot there was a third drake, because apparently, despite having quite some time in this game, I forget the most basic shits, and I almost died. Good lord, I suck. Anyway, normally at this point, I do not take the lift down here. I go a different route. I bomb back to the bonfire, get my spells and Estus back, then take a shortcut here, so I come from the other direction. But since I'm recording, screw it, we're going to do it anyway. But this may result in my death. There's a couple of enemies down here that don't respawn. They have a metric fuck ton of HP, so since we're kind of low on spells, this might be a complete pain in the dick. Plus, the Dark Wraiths kill me more times than I care to admit, because I am really, really goddamn awful at parrying them. So... We are going for the cheap backstab whenever the hell we can get it. Okay, good, we can one-shot them. Thank God for that. Okay, so anyway, these are the Dark Rifts that I mentioned that you can farm Titanite Slabs from. I believe, and I may be wrong about this, but I don't think I am. I'm pretty sure these are the only enemies in the game that actually drop Titanite Slabs besides, you know, the uh, Stray Demon back in the Undead Asylum and wherever the hell else you're supposed to get them. This is where you actually farm them besides the three that you normally get in the game. Oh, shit! Okay, that's not good. <laughs> God damn it. Okay, that's gonna do a bunch of damage to me. Yeah. Okay, well now we're on the freaking back foot. Luckily he jumped backwards like a complete moron. Okay, anyway, so yes, that is that grab attack as you saw, and I'm pretty sure button mashing cannot get you out of that unlike normal grab attacks. I might be wrong about that, but I don't think I am. And you do that with the dark hand, which they can drop. They also drop tiny chunks, as you can see. This, I believe, is the best place in the game to get tiny chunks as well. And the only place you can get slabs, plus you'll get a metric ton of the goddamn hands when you're killing these guys if you're trying to get those, so, uh, yeah, just be prepared for that. Okay, now this section is a giant bitch. There's gonna be a dude on my right. See ya, buddy. There's one on my left as well, and there's a giant non-respawning blob over there. Those guys are dangerous as hell. You can see this guy has his back to you, so usually he will not spot you unless you get very close to him, but, uh, you are probably gonna need room to back up. Oh, good lord. You're probably going to need room to back up from this guy, so I advise you to take him out, but just be very, very careful. Okay, these dudes also spawn uh, those giant exploding skulls. I don't think we've actually seen them yet in the playthrough, but uh, if you're familiar with Dark Souls, you probably know what I'm talking about. They also shoot corrosive stuff at you that would corrode your gear, so yeah, they're a nasty son of a bitch. There's one more of those, then I think that's it. God damn it, I'll try to cheap shot this guy through the wall, but he is not complying. Fine, you can take a cheapo backstab, yeah. Genius tactics. Okay, like I say, I can parry them, I am just so bad at it. I think when I was farming them, I died something like once every three to five trips, give or take. Because I'm just really awful at parrying them, I don't know why. You'd think by now I'd be used to their moves, but no. And I almost forgot, there's a very important ember up here called the Very Large Ember. Like you might imagine, it's an upgrade from the Large Ember, that allows you to upgrade your weapon all the way to plus 10. The Very Large allows you to upgrade it all the way to plus 15 if you give it to Peter Andre. So you got to remember, 
give it to him, he'll allow you to upgrade your weapon from 10 to 11, then you can do the rest yourself. And yes, I know that sounds convoluted as hell, but that is Dark Souls in a nutshell. Oh, by the way, that guy we just saw die on the bloodstain there, if there's one piece of advice I can give you for rolling, it's don't spam it like he did. That's why he died, he was just rolling, 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 like freaking Fred Durst. If you roll way too much, you will A, destroy your stamina so you can't roll when you actually need to, and B, you'll open up a window whereby you cannot roll again quick enough to get out of the way of the attack. Make sure you only roll just before you're gonna be hit. Don't do it the rest of the time, and also, between rolls, obviously drop your shield and raise it again when you're actually going to be attacked. Don't spam roll. That will get you killed quicker than anything in the game, trust me. Okay, I believe this is the Ember. Yes. Yes, there's like I say, you got to give that to Peter Andre, then you can fully upgrade your weapon if you're just going for raw damage, but... Oh shit! Okay, we're alive! <laughs> what the hell? I really suck at platforming. God damn it. Anyway, what was I saying? Yes, if you're just going for raw damage on your weapon, plus 15 with a very large ember is the best you all get. Or if you're going for a fire or lightning enchantment, then you use it something else entirely. Lightning, you don't need any ember. You just take your weapon to the uh, giant blacksmith in Alondo. He will upgrade it for you there. So, a lot of people do that because you don't really need anything for that besides a few tiny chunks. No, 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 no. Oh, shit. Okay, you see what I mean? I missed one parry and look how much freaking damage I just took. These guys are a pain in the dick. And yes, we are going for the cheapo backstab. When all else fails, just backstab. Not that we're going to be able to do that in Dark Souls 2, so uh, yeah, if there's an enemy like that, I am frankly fucked. Open sesame. Now, I believe there's going to be a Dark Wraith here guarding a tiny chunk, as you might imagine. Finding the guy on this tiny little bridge is a really, really stupid idea. Now, you might not die, but it's pretty goddamn likely. Oh, da -da 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 -da. Okay, we're fine. And also, be aware when you go through the archway, sometimes the camera will try and spaz the hell out on you, particularly on the way back, so... Yeah, always remember, your worst enemy in this game is the camera. Don't trust that son of a bitch. Well, shit, I just realized we're down to one Estus, that ain't good. We still have to take out the Four Kings and one more of those blob guys. There's a bunch of Dark Wraiths and ghosts, so, uh... Yes, yeah, suffice to say, we are probably gonna have to go back to the bonfire. I see you there, buddy. You know what else I see? Jump attack! <laughs> what the hell? How did that do no damage to him? I think he got his shield up in time. Damn it! That's not good. <laughs> oh shit. Okay, we're fine. Good lord, I really need to stop decking around when I have one Estus. You'd think I'd stop by now, but no, I can't resist the urge. That reminds me, someone left a comment the other day. It said something like, uh, I think it said something along the lines of, You make a hard game look fun. It's because it is fun. You have to have fun. I mean,. Yeah, there are going to be parts that are frustrating because you're going to die, but uh, as long as you go into Dark Souls just accepting that as a fact, like, you are going to die. Even now, I die, even though I know pretty much what I'm doing. I would say, I oh, good lord. Oh, shit, speaking of which, we might be about to die right now. Anyway, I was going to say, I know what I'm doing, but uh, that might be an overstatement. But yes, as long as you go in just accepting the fact that you are going to die and try and have fun with it, then it is fun, but uh, yeah. If you let it get you, then it's gonna be frustrating and you are probably never gonna finish the damn thing. It depends on your frame of mind. I'm one of those people that just... Generally, I don't get annoyed by games. I think the last time I got annoyed in Dark Souls was the better chaos, because... As I've mentioned a million times, I just really... Really hate that boss and the mechanics involved in it. It's not really a boss fight, it's just like... Glorified platforming, basically. And this is not a game for platforming, it's a goddamn hack and slash RPG, so... When they make you platforming the boss fights, it really pisses me off. Holy shit! I did not see that skull go there. Luckily, uh, da, 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 da. okay. Wow, that restored like nothing. Well, that fucking sucked. I have no idea why that restored like half my HP and all of it. Whatever. God damn it, that was a fail. Okay, screw this, just going for the kill. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, thank God. That guy's down, like I say, he will not respawn, neither will the other one. There should be at least one more Dark Wraith in here, maybe two. Skull, if you blow up, that would be very handy. Blow up, god damn it. Okay, get out of there. It's like a freaking action movie. Okay, I knew you were there, you sneaky son of a bitch. Oh shit! One hit might kill me, definitely two. Damn, okay, my weapon's nearly broken. Well, that ain't good, right? Try and repair the thing. Don't come at me, bro. Hey, he didn't. What a nice fella. Oh shit! <laughs> Damn it! Why did I go for two? Okay, now we're on the back foot. Da -da 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 -da. Careful, and. Okay, he's down. Jesus. Crest. There we go, full HP. I don't know why the other one only gave me half. Maybe that weird shit that was on me somehow makes it only restore half, but that seems kind of random, but frankly, that's all I can come up with. 
Whatever. Now, I think there might be one more. Screw it, let's go around and get this, because I always forget to do this. I don't think it's very good. I think it's just a low-level soul consumable. Don't know why the hell they hit it so damn well, but uh, apparently they did not want you to find that. Luckily, I am the world's greatest goddamn detective. Forget Batman, I am the world's greatest detective, and I don't have to run around dressed like a freaking gimp with a cape to achieve that. Then again, Batman is kind of cool. you got to admit, for a guy that runs around dressed like a bat, he pulls it off somehow. Anyone else would look absolutely ridiculous. I mean, sometimes he does, like, uh, I think it was Batman and Robin, the one with Mr. Freeze. That movie, he looked ridiculous. But still, Mr. Freeze, best villain in any movie ever, because he was the worst. Gotta love Arnold Schwarzenegger. Okay, it's gonna be a dude on the right, and I believe over here, this is where we summon Beatrice. I'm watching you. God damn it, get out of here. Oh, shit. Stop messing up the parrying. Why am I so bad? Of parrying these guys. God, it's annoying. Anything? Nope, you are a freeloading son of a bitch. There's a surprise. Okay, come to me, Beatrice. No point me really summoning her now, but screw it, we're gonna do it anyway just for shits and giggles, because we are not. And I do mean not going into the fight with the Four Kings with no spells and no goddamn Estus. That's just a suicide mission, and apparently she doesn't do jack shit. Like, she does almost no damage, just stands there derping the hell out, so yeah. Not exactly the most helpful NPC. Why did the fog gates come out? Is that because I summoned her? I know it does that when you summon a normal player, but I didn't think it did it for NPCs, but I guess it does. So it's not much I actually summon them, doesn't it? Damn it, I really wish I could kick you off. Okay, whatever. I'm going to go back to the bonfire, and I'll see you when we get back here, and we will take on the four kings. Okay, we're back, and I might have made a tiny little oversight here. I didn't kill any of these guys, and I forgot they were all going to chase me. Well, shit. You know what's great? Damn it! Okay, this is very bad. Yo, just go. You know what? Screw Beatrice. She can freaking die on her own. I am not dying to save you. Screw that nonsense. Now, these guys will attack me through the walls, the, uh, the ghosts, so yes. If you want to heal, do it once, then run the hell down. Now, you need the Covenant of Arturus ring on to fight the four kings, otherwise you fall straight through the abyss. So you have to kill Sif before you come here. And if you drop off these uh, ledges at the top, you can clip them on the way down, and you can insta-die. So I like to run down a little bit, because uh, I've done that a couple of times. <laughs> it really sucks. Like, really sucks. Okay, I don't think we got too much trouble here, because the main problem with the four kings, if you don't kill them quick enough, they keep spawning. And there's not just four of them, there is, I believe, unlimited. I think it's like a video of someone fighting like 2,000 or 400 or something ridiculous like that. I don't remember the number, but uh, yeah, these bitches keep on coming. So as long as you can kill them quickly enough before the second one spawns, which largely depends on luck, I've got to be honest, because if they keep grabbing you or doing the ground slam, which wastes a lot of time, then sometimes they can just, you know, overwhelm you. But uh, see, he was about to do it right then. We got very lucky there. And yes, by the way, another tactic, when they're disappearing, you can keep attacking the cloud of smoke or whatever the hell it is, and you can do some extra damage there, so uh, that will count towards the second one's HP and so on, so that's a really good way of taking them out quickly. Now, another thing, if you stand very close to him like I'm doing here, you can see when he actually hits me, he does almost no damage. If you are at the very tip of that sword, however, you will take a whole lot of damage. Oh, shit! Damn it, this is what I'm saying. It's random if they're going to grab you or do the ground slam, and it wastes a whole lot of damage. It does a lot of damage as well, and it will drain your humanity. The ground slam doesn't, the uh, the grab does. There we go. Second one down, and they are almost two-thirds dead, and uh, we are back at full HP, and we still have some of our best spells here, so we might be able to take them out here if we gank the absolute crap out of the last one, but uh, it's going to be kind of close here. I see you there, buddy. And that's another thing. When you're between them spawning, I advise just spin your camera around. Make sure you can see where they are as soon as they spawn. And again, if you are at the end of their sword, make sure you block it or roll under it. It'll do a lot of damage, but when you're up close, it does almost nothing. I have no idea why, just kind of the way it works. Whatever, man. Oh, shit. Okay, that was very close. He tried to do it again. Okay, two hits with a sword and one good spell, and we should be done here. Not that we have any spells left. Well, I guess we go up pod mode. Yeah, I'm ready for you, you son of a bitch. They'll never see it coming. What the hell, buddy? Speed the hell up. I'm on a schedule here. Buddy? Where the hell are you? There he is, a freaking miles away. God damn it. I'm coming at you very, very slowly. Careful. Oh, da 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 da. Aha! Didn't see that coming, did ya? Get ready to die, scumbag. Boom, son.
victory achieved. And there we go, we got a second from Last Lord, so I think so anyway. I believe we only have Nito left, and holy shit. God, I hate the catacombs. Anyway, so if you haven't spoken to King Seeker Frampt before you come here, there'll be a second snake that pops up called Darkstalker Kath. We did so he will never appear for us. If you speak to Frampt at all, I'm pretty sure this guy will never appear. And this is the way that you join the Dark Raid Covenants. It's the main PvP Covenant. There are other ones, but uh, this is kind of, you know, the most important one to most people. You know what? As much as I know this is going to be a humongous waste of my goddamn time, I feel like I have to check and see what this sign is, just because it's so damn far away. Well, that was a huge waste of time. <laughs> God, I hate people. You troll son of a bitch. Anyway, it is time to go take on the catacombs. Like I say, I hate that place. Dark, scary, and I die like a mother down there. But then again, I die like a mother everywhere. Anyway, I will see you back at Firelink Shrine. Okay, we are ready now. Off screen, I downgraded the occult club that we got from the Mimic back in Anolondo in the secret room into a divine club. The reason for that is because there's a bunch of skeletons down here. Not all of them, but pretty much all of them. We will respawn once we're actually inside the catacombs. Once we kill them, unless we kill them with a divine weapon. Until we actually kill the necromancers that control those skeletons. Basically, there's like five necromancers down there, give or take. And if you don't... Uh, kill each one, then the skeletons that are commanded by that one will respawn. Once that guy's dead, then you can kill them with whatever you want, but uh, the first time you go through here, you are pretty much gonna need a divine weapon, unless you want to run past everything, but uh, we could do that, but screw it. Just because it's much safer this way, we are gonna go with divine weapon, even though I really... Really love my badass magic sword. Now, uh, the reason mostly I'm doing that is because during the boss fight with Nito, he has a bunch of skeletons with him, and he is their necromancer, so until he dies, they will keep respawning, and those guys will make that a living hell if you don't have a divine weapon for that. So, it's mostly for the Nito boss fight, but screw it, we may as well use it on the way down, just for the hell of it. Dance of Death. God, I really miss this club. I, I fell in love with this damn thing when I was doing Soul Level 1 run, because... This thing, you would think it would be crappy. Oh, good lord, you scared the shit out of me. You'd think it'd be crappy because it's just a little club, but no, the moves, and it's really powerful. It's freaking amazing. Like, seriously, one of my favorite weapons in the game, even though it don't look like much, it is dangerous as hell. That's why I tell all the women about my dick. Don't look like much, but holy shit, you should see it in action. <laughs> okay, jump attack. Yeah, didn't see that coming, did you? Yoink. Okay, anyway, let's get the hell out of here. Now, we're probably going to go to the second bonfire there. I think we'll call it there, because the catacombs is bloody humongous. Like, really, really freaking big. And yes, by the way, there were those exploding skulls on the way in. I think these are the only other place in the game where they are. And there's a whole bunch of them. And I don't think you can actually kill them. In fact, I'm almost positive you can't. They just have to blow up. That's the only way to get rid of them. And yes, they are dangerous as hell, mostly because they can push you off the edge. Okay, that's wild shit. Damn it, I got stuck in the wall. That's why the necromancers... And yes, he shoots jump attack. He shoots fire out of his goddamn lantern. They can drop their lanterns, but it's usually not that common. You're getting guaranteed one later in the game anyway, during the uh, later parts of the catacombs. But we don't need it anyway, because we have the sunlight maggot. And when it starts to get dark, we'll just wear that anyway and look absolutely goddamn ridiculous. Okay, we're going to rest here. Hopefully it won't matter, because I really, really don't want to die before we get to the next bonfire. Because that's quite some way away. Jump attack. Damn it, he wasn't up yet. Buddy, if you could if you could just die, holy shit. Yeah, you can have one as well. Jump attacks for freaking everybody. Okay, so anyway, there is another necromancer, I think just at the end of this bridge here over on the right. Yes, you can see him right there, you can see his lengthen. God, I hate you. God damn it, I didn't know he was gonna Oh Jesus! Didn't know he was gonna shoot me from there. Like I say, they control a specific set of skeletons each. The ones down by the bonfire are obviously the first guys. These ones are around here that are this guy's, etc. So yeah, well, this, when you come around here the second time, as long as the necromancers are dead, it's much easier because you can use a much better weapon, but still, I love the goddamn club. It's freaking amazing. No, 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 no. You get the hell out of here. That's a very bad skeleton. Jesus Christ, that was close. How the hell did I hit that guy from there? Whatever, I'll take it. There's one more over on the right. Okay, did not go for him, but screw it. We'll just go for the necromancer. Yeah, you can't run from me, buddy. Dance of death. I don't think that's gonna kill him though. No, it didn't. Well, you can suck on that. Give me your lantern. You freeloading son of a bitch. Okay, now it's your turn, buddy. We don't even have to kill you, but screw, I'm gonna do it anyway. Yeah, nice try. <laughs> God, I love that attack. Okay, so anyway, 
I think we are pretty damn close to the next bonfire, and there is a really good weapon between us and there. I'm never going to use it, but I'll show you how to get it. It's called the Great Scythe. It is basically the most powerful dex weapon in the entire game. And just like every Scythe, it's got a really good move set, especially for PvP, because it's got a sort of lunging, curling attack, and it gets past people's shields really, really well. It's really good. Shit, getting kind of corny here. Oh, god damn it. Okay, this is not good. The one good thing here, however, stop doing that, you son of a bitch! Oh, this is very bad. No, 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 no. Go for the backstab. Yes. Always works. Except when it doesn't. Anyway, what I was going to say was what's really handy here, as you can see, they cause bleeding. However, Chester's gear has some of, if not the best bleed resistance in the entire goddamn game. So, we shouldn't get bled out here. And if we do, we're probably going to freaking die anyway. Holy shit, that was a complete fail. Attack me, buddy. You dick. I wasn't ready. <laughs> I wasn't ready, goddammit. There we go. In the bulls. Well, you don't have any left, but, you know. Where they used to be. Yeah, that's disgusting. What are we turning to down here? Another putz. Okay, stealth mode. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> Steak! That was a complete fail. Like, holy shit. Now, I believe... Oh, dun, 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 dun. Don't do that, man. I ain't ready for that. Now, I believe there's another weapon around here somewhere. I thought it was here, but I guess not. It must be in another section, but uh, it's called Lucerne. It's a really good... Uh, I think it's a... What the hell is the word? Basically, it's like a balance weapon is a word for it, but it's escaping me right now. But it's like uh, a balance between strength and dexterity, at least I think so. Is this Lucerne? Did we already grab Lucerne? I really wasn't paying friggin' attention. <laughs> Whatever, Lucerne, pretty decent weapon. Especially if you wear uh, the Leo Ring, which you get from killing Ornstein Seconds. Because basically, the Leo Ring allows poke attacks to do more damage. Lucerne, as I understand it, does nothing but poke attacks. So, yeah, pretty good combination. Okay, I really hate this. God Damn, those statues are just annoying. The damage is almost nothing. It's just annoying. Oh, shit. Okay. Well, see ya, buddy. <laughs> Careful. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Stop it. Just leave me alone. I just want to live. That's all I want. Anyway, I've got to say, that section around there is a freaking gauntlet of death. I am so glad we got through that. The statues are deceptively dangerous because even though they do very little damage, as you saw, they staggered me because I had very little poise, in fact. None whatsoever, so when you get staggered, it can leave you open for attack from the skulls or the skeletons or whatever, so yeah, it's kind of a good combination there, but as long as you have some poise, the statues do basically nothing. Okay, so now we flip that lever on whatever the hell the damn thing. Get out of here, you bastard! I really want to kick this guy off the side. Da -da -da -da. Keep going, buddy. See ya! <laughs> oh, that will never get old for me. Anyway, the reason you have to flip this is because you can't walk along the other side of the bridge because there's spikes there, so, uh, yeah, trust me, it doesn't work. Don't try it. Okay, careful. Da, 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 da. No, screw it, we're going to go for the... God damn it. We're going to go for this guy. Give me the backstab, you bastard. Okay, we took a lot of freaking damage there. We are now in a very, very bad position. Go, da, 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 da. Okay, we're going to be fine. That was very, very close. Right, get rid of you. He's down, like I say, he will respawn. You can see I don't get any souls for him because I didn't use a divine weapon. However, with this guy dead, eventually, thank you. Now we can kill the guy. I love the way they scratch their heads when they get up like, huh? What the hell happened? Oh shit, I'm dead again. For like the 5,000th time. Now, down here there's two crystal lizards. However, again, I don't have any poise, so those statues are going to poke me. So we are probably not even going to have time to get to one of them. We might just about get one, but uh, yeah, second one's gone ready. God freaking damn it. Boom! Yeah, I didn't see that coming, did you, you crystal lizard bastard? Now, I believe... God damn it, stop it! Just stop it. It's just irritating. That's all it is. It's just freaking annoying. Okay, so anyway, this should drop us back out where we flip the lever. So we're going to run back around, so it doesn't cost you that much time. It's worth doing for the lizards. Now, if you miss a lizard, you can just log out and back in, I believe, and it should reappear there. So I think if you log where they actually, you know, where they spawn, you can log back in right next to them and just ambush them. So that should be a good way to get them. I've never actually tried it, but uh, that is what I am told. God damn it, stop poking me. It's so freaking annoying. Now, anyway, down here, I believe, is the way that we... Yeah. <laughs> Nailed it. Okay, so it's time for another don't do what Donny don't does lesson. I and Donny don't in the situation. Don't do that. That was real freaking stupid. You are not supposed to land there, I believe. Oh, God, please let this work. I think you're supposed to land here. Da -da -da -da. 
Okay, that's the way you do it. You don't try and land on the goddamn staircase. And there we go. The great goddamn Seth, which got me killed. Thanks a lot, buddy. Thanks a whole freaking lot. Now, I'm hoping I haven't boned myself by coming down here early. I think we're going to be okay here. As long as we press this lever, this should open up a pathway somewhere. I'll be honest with you, I'm a little bit lost right now. Get out of here. We're doing this ass backwards, so I don't know where the hell we're coming out. In fact, no, I think this is going to put us right next to the bonfire, but we have to go all the way to the top. At least I think so. I'll be honest, I'm still not entirely sure. Now, are these guys actually dying? Yes, they are. Okay, so we have... Oh, so we have killed the necromancer around here. That's good. What's this? It's all over Prowler. Who the hell hit me? You giant dick. Huh? Okay, I think that was a statue. Whatever. Okay, so I... Yes. I think if we go left here... Yeah, okay. Now I know where we are. This is gonna lead us to the goddamn bonfire. Well, thank balls for that. Okay, let's go right to the bonfire. No, 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 no. You sneaky son of a bitch statue. I knew you were going to be there that time. Alrighty, I'm going to end it here. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, I would appreciate a like. And I'll see you next time for more Dark Souls.